Recent talk, Terry Recent talk, Terry But maybe that's that's about the point that we should start explaining a little bit about Sealandia. So Sealandia is a weird word, I guess. I want to really quickly preface this with my my only understanding of Sealandia. I'm gonna do a really quick. Um, let me go look at this. Okay, so Sealandia. If I were to look up Sealandia when I was 2000, what two? I was like 13 years old. Um, and do my uh, junior high paper on the principal, the principality of Sealandia, as I did. Yeah. Um, I would tell you, like I did then, that Sealandia was the coolest, weirdest sounding country because it's a boat in the middle of the ocean. It's actually in the mouth of the Thames, of the Thames. So it's it's a, it's actually in pretty much UK territory, but no one can get there. Because the mouth of the Thames is really wide, and unfortunately, these forts are not shown on Google Earth as they are here. The mouth of the River Thames, that's what it's called? Yeah. Okay, so this is the mouth of the River Thames. Oh, Google, thank you very much. So, very strange place with energy plants galore at the mouth of the River Thames. Anyway, I was going to say really quickly before I add it again, as I do. Principle of Sealandia, which was not recognized as a sovereign state until they opened fire on the German military who tried to board their vessel. And the German military said, hey, Britain, knock it off. And Britain's like, they're not with us. We broke up in the 70s. They don't, unfortunately, they don't appear on Google Earth. <laughs> yeah, well, that's both lines. This is this is this is their spot. This is their story, like in a spot that's just perfect for the United Kingdom to and and then they ended up saying, oh, but they're not with us, which meant that they could do whatever they wanted. And one of the interesting things is they've got servers that protect lots of files, you know, all kinds of files that you would want to protect you would want military protection for. Um, including cryptocurrencies and um, apparently private collections of photos and media of some kind. So very strange is the, is the principle of Sealandia. And then our friend Michael started finding more Sealandias. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to, um, where's this one at? Suriname. In Suriname, is that what you said? Guiana, Suriname, French Guiana, and the great big Brazil. But yeah, Salandia. Got one right there. So in this area here, there's an airport right there. Is that what that looks like? Go a little closer into that. That's a small little airport. Yeah, what a dense place. Tsunami is interesting because where was it? It was controlled by the British and then also by the French and the Spanish, and Dutch, and then the Dutch. The Dutch traded it for they traded it for New Amsterdam, which is now New York. Ah, they traded Suriname for New Amsterdam. Yes. Wow. Man, neither one of those turned out super great for the Dutch, by the way. No, no, but then, hey, colonialism kind of sucked, didn't it? This little, uh, little, this big old star fort on TV or on Amazon recently with uh, the guys from the Grand Tour. Wow, look at that point right there. Very fantastic. Which one? one? Just right by the ocean. These points like that are just like too good. Because that, that's how you can tell. They were like, you know what? Save that part at least because we like standing there. My wife likes that pier. Something. This is a uh, UNESCO World Heritage, so this is not getting demolished anytime soon. That's kind of my favorite way of looking for things at this point that are I mean, UNESCO is basically like, you know, Tartary 
that's basically it's just but it's all it is is like a bunch of old things from tartary a lot of it i'll give you oh you know come on pretty much 90 percent oh you want a nice example of one of these um um four point forts right mm -hmm. you know lake maracaibo the the lightning lake this one is featured on featured on youtube uh 260 days of lightning per year and look what sits at the entrance I'm I'm going fast again. Um, no, but that was cool. That was that was enough for that one. Thanks for that. I got it. Oh, you want you you mentioned the one in the middle of the jungle, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. And notice around him where he's looking, guys. Like, do you see how cut it is? Because they actually will go in there and monocrop, like cut out chunks of the rainforest. And they act, that's literally just leveled parts of rainforest a lot of the time to make it easier for farming. This is what they're doing to the Amazon, guys. It kind of looks like that new military camouflage pixelation stuff. It but, does digital camouflage, right? Yeah. But it's real life. It's definitely real life. Um, 50 square uh, miles at a time or more. This is... <laughs> It's an airport. I didn't know that. But there you go. Whoa, this is an airport? Apparently it is. Uh, I think it's a helicopter landing place now or something. Oh, my gosh. But it is called Principi di Baira Airport. So, yeah. Uh, they must just low-key leave it there as a runes. And even that gets me searching because um, I have a theory that there's one that is always another usually on the other side of the river hmm. um didn't find much here but this is a weird looking square that i noticed yeah. um and there's this here area that is suspiciously cut out I'm, I'm not saying these are locations for forts or anything but these are uh, follow the lines clues i go with to find them yeah, I definitely want to check the Rio Bahia and the Bahia Negra, the Rio Negra in um, Paraguay, which is pretty close to that area. Paraguay. I don't have any. For I check uh, Paraguay for forts, but. Yeah, Paraguay is rough, man. They're definitely tearing it apart right around there. Yeah, and also the top north where the the brazilian river runs through it but yeah all of that area has been kind of you know they actually like flood it and they pour they kind of have done a lot to destroy paraguay if you know where the um border to argentina is also there's like the iguazu waterfall and i'm pretty sure around there there must have been stuff that's like These are the types of cities that do qualify for uh, ancient citadels and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Located, the, I don't have anything here. Let's see if we can find any trademarks to this being. Uh, I doesn't really look what's like crazy that. you know it's hard to tell as a european but to me i always think like cities like rosario and is this corrientes or where was this one this is uh yeah, misiones corrientes i've been in a little all these cities and like they're just so crazy because they look like some um french 19th century napoleonic it just looks like a stone three stories tall and very neoclassical in their pillars they have columns and they're very dense, 
you know, and then you go outside of them and there's just a lot of nature. So it seems kind of interesting, like, you know, even in the rainforest, you'll have these very dense neoclassical Greco, Greco style, Greco Roman style cities. And they're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. But, but the ones in Argentina are very Romanesque, it's true. And obviously there's the correlation with Italy. Um, having said that, like just their capacity to build those things, if it's just because they escaped Italy, so they had more resources or something, they're able to build them in Argentina. I'll, you know, that's totally the, it's a reasonable thing, but looking at the structures and the designs, it seems like there's more to it. I mean, just the fact that they're so spread out over Russia, North America, and Asia, and they just seem so much older than that period. Excuse me. Bless you. Is one of those cities that I uh, suspect of having been much bigger and as in located here. No confirmation whatsoever, but yeah. How about yeah, right in Rio. What you got in Rio? This one, which is concreted over. Interesting. Slow down on that. Concreted over. Well, it could have been uh, made uh, as in World War II fortification bunker. That, that, right. That's what they did with the, um, the reimagined as a fish tank fort in uh, yeah. my city of birth. The Germans concreted that over, and then um, I think a couple of years after I left the city, um, they made it into a fish tank. This one is a lot prettier. Wow. Yeah, this is kind of like the Ros Rosali, what was it called? The Rosali style? You can wonder here, right? You see these overhanging cliffs. Here you go. Bunch of batteries here. A fort here. This is one of those cases where you can. Um, someone asked me, does the fortress move the mountain or the mountain move the fortress? You ever hear that song, Muhammad's Radio by Warren Zeffin? Mm, I might have. I'm not really good with song titles. He's that guy who did, like, you know, Werewolves in London. Oh, woo, Werewolves in London. Yeah. You'll find him. It's important. This one is a little hidden, but...
Jefferson Starship. <laughs> Starship. Jefferson Star Fortress could be a new. Jefferson Star Fortress. That's a good name for a band. It's really good. And then what was the Star Fortress you found close to that, down south of that mirror? Like, I saw when you had... What was that? Gump Star... Whoa. This is a very dense little spot. And yeah, look at those diamond points. Can you zoom in on those diamond points? Yeah. Tell me that that's just something that randomly happens all the time over the world in every culture. Tell me that that's a dragon. Because otherwise it's the unicorn, I'll tell you what. That's pretty random. Awesome, isn't it? And there's that many cases of it in every culture that it's like a universal thing that's beyond one culture. It's hard to say that this is really a bastion for it at this point. If it's in China thousands of years Russia, Egypt. Well, this is Bakalar in uh, also in uh, Yucatan Peninsula. You can wonder here, right? You see these overhanging cliffs. A little tiny fort near Washington. Washington, D.C. Wow. And it's so, sort of off in the woods or by the, the water. It's called Washington. Because this is D.C., yeah but it's just off in the water it's not in the middle of the town right like all these other ones every this is a big thing is people say oh well, of course washington dc is made up of all of these patterns but then when you look to some of the random places that you see the patterns like in the levees and the wood you're like wait why did they flood over that area or why did it, that area get overgrown have a star for it like clearly there's something predating it predating the Washington DC architecture plan from the 19th century. So the Star Fortress Independence, Boston.
about there's 10,000 of these things. And I'm like, well, if there's 10,000, I got something to do. And some of them aren't are be recognizable anymore, but definitely fortresses. Yeah, this is destroyed. <laughs> this could have well have been a fortress, and it's also a race force. What are the Dutch doing building forts in Detroit? Was that a thing? I don't actually remember I, hearing I the Dutch I being in Detroit. That. I don't know. I don't remember Dutch Promosa in Detroit. Well, what's weird about that star for is it looks like at best a baseball court. You know, I don't see much going on with that anymore. It doesn't, you know, there's some biz, maybe it's surrounded in some sort of dock-like buildings. I can't quite tell if by the dock, those are some sort of larger corporate or business buildings. Yeah, okay. But in general, that star fort looks like, it's just, uh, yeah, look at the ground around it. It looks like completely uncared for, unkempt. messy isn't it this is fantastic i think we need to like focus on the detroit what the heck what can you can you try to come up with an excuse for this you, you wanted me to show one that makes no sense whatsoever yeah i mean that one was that that did that but you have more go ahead In the middle of Wales. Okay, so Dutch, the Dutch Welsh. All right. Well, you know the Dutch, the Dutch have uh, or the Welsh have been um, colonized for hundreds of years. So the the Welsh, you can get behind this. Makes sense that the Welsh weren't always, you know, they might have been at some point somebody who made star forts. You can get with that. Ottawa County was originally populated by the Ottawa Indians. It wasn't until 1847 that Dutch Calvinist separatists showed up under the name, under the leadership of Albertus von Ralty. Seems like pretty late on to be building Dutch star forts. Well, Quebec, eh?
I mean, I mean, I can make fun of it, but I literally and just said A in earnest. So, I mean, I've seen enough Degrassi to know what it does to the mind. Whatever it takes. <laughs> I am but, sorry, guys. I am sorry. I just usually do this alone and not with somebody else. And I just go over these things really fast because, well, I've already seen them, haven't I? I have the same problem. I think I'm learning. And I think when you watch the video, you'll do the same thing I did. Well, apparently it's helicopter base again. That's so interesting that they become <laughs> helicopter bases. <laughs> think about think about that. Like these star forts. Could they could they have been landing places? They for... don't think of anything else to do with them, really. They're like, well, yeah, they land thing. I mean, right? That's just. It's like and it's not out of the. It's not absurd. I mean. No, it, it, it's far from absurd to think that these could have been landing places in ancient times. Uh, I, I just even yeah. meant it's like whomever decided to use them as helicopter landing plates in the future, like, or in the afterwards, it must have not seemed absurd to them. They didn't have, it must not have been a strange idea to them, you know? Well, they are huge. Well, yeah, but these are not like, these are military people, you know? Like, they, they would probably, of all things to consider, like, they would, you know, they they wouldn't just do out of the blue things. It just, I don't know. It seems very strange to me that it would be an original thought, even. Have you seen that video of the anthropologists, you know, showing the Indians when the helicopters left and they start worshiping the helicopter landing pads in the islands? Yeah, yeah. The gods must be crazy. The gods must be crazy. This is my favorite. I'm going to watch that again. Yeah, I am taking nice pauses now. And everybody can see. The star forts. That is pretty good. I'm impressed. happens uh yeah we're still in canada uh, what about around uh nova scotia greenland kind of region what do you got newfoundland all right lots of there's just so many in all the areas that, that is just yeah that's that's the silly thing right there is so many in all the areas they are all over the world and i i think i barely scratched the surface man i really think i barely scratched the surface We'll, we'll go over to Paris in uh, in a second. This is a little less visible, but you can still see. Where is this one? Cheta Booktow. Wow. Or Newfoundland. This is, uh, sorry, this is Nova Scotia. 
Gotcha. Halifax. This is in Texas, the Presidio. Hmm. We had to check out at some point Galveston. I think I have something in Galveston. I think there is a bookmark in there. Uh, There's yeah. a really interesting kid who did some, I don't know if he's a kid. There's a really interesting person on the internet who made a bunch of um, video about Galveston, made a really great edit. What, what are your thoughts? Well, they destroyed, they obviously destroyed this huge city that was, you know, Dresden sized. I mean, looking at the pictures of it, it has all the trappings of Moscovian architecture before the Napoleon War. And energy, electricity, etc. That looks pretty convincing to me. I think that that's a great example of a demolished, scorched of the earth one. Can you zoom in a little bit of it? It does bear a whole lot of hard hallmarks, doesn't it? It does have a lot of hallmarks. I kind of feel like it's an example. I mean, when you see some pictures of Galveston, though, you'll understand why I'm I'm pretty. Conf I feel like it's like pretty likely. <laughs> the question isn't so much about it. Sounds like where we'll find them because it sounds like they're everywhere. The question is which ones are left enough to be able to be seen, even after there have been so many societies turning them to powder, smashing them first with hammers, you know, for hundreds of years literally and then yeah. people like taking cannonballs and then getting more you know crafty with destruction you get on the dare. did you name this one you don't name these right that's it so I mean grand tears like like that's what the island's called so yeah so i name it star fortress keep it on there uh very interesting that's in louisiana territory all right you wanted the west coast i don't have a whole lot of stuff to anything in the middle too what's that fort union oh. This one is pretty interesting. What? <laughs> look at that. But look at what they've done to Whoa. Here. <sighs> look look at what they've done. All these It is reminiscent of those drawings, the um, the Nazca lines. Especially if you if you start zooming out, like they are everywhere. These things. But yeah, this is this is one uh, one star fort for you, sir. And then to the right of the building, you've got like an airport, or like you know, like what the I heck is all this stuff? That's the old barracks of Fort Union, isn't it? What is left of it? Oh, 
or wait, rather two locations that are suspected of being reminiscent mm -hmm. guy Gold, golden gates right it's been like i've driven is that my car jeez that spot it you know there's a lot of architecture it's pretty easy to see how san francisco is the capital for this crazy architecture Presidio's um, a, a hint given by uh, Armor on the Discord server. Presidio's tie in nicely to fort locations uh, or possible fort locations, as you can see here. Hmm. These are defense batteries. And they stretch pretty much over the West Coast, but I haven't found anything that really resembles a star in the west coast area at all like i have stuff uh, again these are all um batteries that could have been star forts but And considering how California has changed, it's pretty, you know, Northern California is covered in sediment. But whoa, look at that. Acapulco. Acapulco. So, yeah, there are star forts on the west coast of the uh, American continents. I, I find new stuff every day all over the planet um, and it's just a matter of where is my focus at that time. One of the things I've been pretty interested in is um right here in Peru when you get to Lima. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you'd found this one because I'd walked on this one. Very good. Imagine how big that is. I mean, look at a bus next to it. <laughs> the bus next to it. Area in the checkered, you know, in the checkered. Ah, yes. This here, this is people. Yeah. Yeah. So you. Yeah, the, the, the story on how this thing uh, apparently survived a uh, giant tsunami while the rest of Lima was pretty much gone. Do you remember the earthquake? I mean, it's crazy to think about. It. Yeah.
Well, this 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 is sort of tied into this very nice uh, other thing in Peru, but I think this could well have been a star fort, seeing as they worship the sun here. If you look at these lines, kind of reminiscent, aren't they? What does the what does it represent, and what is the power of it? I mean, clearly, water bends when it hits bent pipes and bent, you know, crooks and, and rivers and, and streams. The funny thing is, going back again, sorry, it does the same, it uh, displays the same behavior as most forts do, whereas one side of the fortress is not teethed. There's no teeth here, and they're all over here. And if we take a big citadel um, we wanted to go to paris right indeed paris la cité d'amour bonjour The evolution of a star fort in Paris. Okay, sorry, no pictures in 1949. This is 2001. And this is pretty much what it looks like now. Uh, alas, in 2018, they decided to censor part of the fort because wow. it doesn't like you looking at its star forts. It really doesn't. I'll, I'll I'll go back to any uh, any year to find um, to find clues as long as Google provides me imagery. I'll look through it. All right, every. Most all of the Paris forts have been um, kept. You see, not a lot of demolished going on here. This one is gone. But you can pretty much still see all the pretty outlines of what used to be a star fort here. A lot of these parks they're they just they're former especially in france they're like well they're reclaimed military bases right that have been turned into municipal areas 
there's so much uh, reusing of this stuff. Here you go, Samalo. People just still live in this fort. Also, at the points of all of these sort of like card deck like points, you'll see the circles. These watchtower like places. And that would make a great helicopter landing pad, it's true. Do you see the uh, returning hedgehog uh, principle in this city with the little head? And this is the body. And that's the, the, that really is a recurring uh, a recurring theme, even though they're all shaped differently. Uh, most of these big cities, which then this is what I consider a big city, big walled city, have that uh, returning in them. That pattern. And we go to Antwerp. And there's not a lot to see of what is Antwerp now, but this used to be the head and the city center was the body. All the forts around Antwerp though are still pretty much. Here, hold on that one for a minute. Um... Yeah, I, I skipped over the previous one because it's not very interesting to look at. This one is better. If you just play Super Mario 64, you can find Star Force pretty fast. Terraced star hedges everywhere. <laughs> any any countries you want to go to because like it's 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 all like I, I can keep showing you forts until well the cows come home <laughs> a bit mystifying i even even on the old maps if you if you study those china is a weird weird little place Go to that place called Star and I in those places. Oh yeah, well I, I, I go over cities and then I find stars. Wow. So it's not really a star fort. I don't know if there ever was a star fort in this location to begin with, but yeah, this is. Are you able to find this place years before this building was here? Well, we can go back to 1984. There we go. There's already like things that could be the corners of the thing and they could have flattened the thing in the meantime. Well, in 2006, they pretty much ruined our star. Yeah. Possibility of looking at it. Um, 2002, yeah, this is a this is a point. It's kind of random like, that you would have found yeah. that. You kind of remote viewed this one. To destroy these things and hide them, you know? Yeah, yeah but Russia, Russia does the same. Only Russia is too big to destroy them all. Right.
this is a suspicion I have of a fortified right on old map this is the forbidden city in Beijing and it does hold to certain patterns I mean it does yeah if you look at the the whole city and above it it looks like the um, 64 trigram buildup of the Buddhist faith. Is there anything in Tibet? Uh, yeah. I have something that looks like it could have been. Oh man, that's definitely one. What? Look at it, and it's been demolished. Look at, look at, look at how it's been torn apart, even. Yeah, and but this could just as well have been something that mm. Chinese. Go deep. Out. Wait, come back. Go, go deeper in there. Go deeper. Right. Go as deep as you can into the dig. Look at how they've dug it out. You're telling me that this line with all of this picking at it was not demolished in order to find what it was. I mean, come on. And look around it, there's like a trail. I don't know. What do you what could it have easily been? Look at the barracks. It looks just like Fort. I don't have any confirmation of this. Do you have uh, a photo of this one? I'll take a picture. Take a picture of this one and send me send me the GPS. I have some friends in the area. We could probably find out the history of what it was used for. Recent Tartarians. Recent Tartarians. 